Over the years, researchers, astronomers and historians have made some incredible discoveries. Recently, we have seen a large number of new scientific discoveries and breakthroughs from all across the world. These breakthroughs, no matter how small, help to demonstrate the continuous work made by researchers and scientific corporations constantly evolving their practices and better understanding the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five recent discoveries made by researchers. TRAPPIST-1-D Discovered within the TRAPPIST-1 system that made headlines from all around the world, TRAPPIST-1-D was one of the many exoplanets found orbiting a star very similar in heat and size to our own Sun that led many research scientists to believe that many of the planets orbiting around the Sun to be Earth-like habitable planets and ideal for future colonization of a solar system. The most exciting prospect of this discovery was not only the planets, however, but rather the distance the system is from our own solar system, being only a mere 39.6 light-years away from us, making it an interstellar neighbor with a much easier point of access. In fact, previous efforts in developments of space technologies such as that of the Orion nuclear-powered spacecraft could see the journey to the TRAPPIST-1 system met in as little as one generation of passengers and accomplished in a short 60 years. This very well means that efforts could be started right now to begin interstellar colonization with current space technologies without any additional stress of developments already being performed. The TRAPPIST-1D planet in orbit around the Sun-like star of the TRAPPIST system also appears to be cooler than that of our own Earth, and far richer in composition of precious metals, a rocky surface, a low gravity for easy takeoff, and an atmosphere filled with dense water vapor for colonization efforts. However, given the planet's size, mass, and density, it is theorized to have a weak electromagnetic field which would not help to shield colonization efforts from damaging cosmic radiation similarly seen on our neighboring planet Mars. But even if the planet turns out to be incompatible with future colonization efforts once the passengers arrive at their destination, it can be easily cannibalized for resources to build megastructure bases capable of supporting human life and assist in the efforts of terraforming and colonizing the neighboring planets. Kepler-20f Although the planet known as Kepler-20f is more than 929 light-years away from Earth, meaning that it would take more than 900 years traveling at the speed of light before humanity could even reach the planet with current theories and technologies of space travel, it is still a primate location for the establishment of future colonies and holds more similarities to Earth than Venus itself. In fact, the planet Kepler-20f is much cooler than Venus being more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at its maximum temperature. When the planet was first discovered back in 2011, it was noticed as being a rocky planet with the same mass, radius and gravity as the planet Earth, while also supporting a rich atmosphere believing to be containing vast amounts of water vapor. Unfortunately, this water vapor caused a runaway greenhouse effect that sees the planet at an overall temperature too hot to support life. However, with a few modifications to the environment, it could very well be a much better twin than Venus without requiring the extensive needs of terraforming as our own neighboring planet. In fact, the other celestial bodies in the region of Kepler-20f are believed to hold a vast amount of resources that could be used in mining efforts to help terraform the planet with megastructures constructed. By sending a separated human colony to the planet over many generations, the planet could potentially be a new starting ground for all of human life. Larsen Ice Shelf Antarctica is easily one of the most uninhabited places on the face of the Earth. Over the years, researchers and scientists have made their way to this barren land, but it hasn't been without difficulty. In recent times, there have been some interesting discoveries coming from Antarctica. Over the last few years, scientists have been quite vocal about the fact that Antarctica is melting at a rapid pace. For example, researchers have recently said that they've noticed a large fissure growing in the continent's fourth largest ice shelf. This was first picked up back in November of last year, and this was because the crack grew by over 90 miles. This has led scientists to speculate that the Larsen Sea ice shelf is breaking apart. 
For those unaware, the Larsen Ice Shelf is a long ice shelf in the northwest part of the Weddell Sea. This can be found on the east side. The ice shelf itself originally covered an area of 85,000 square kilometers, or 33,000 square miles. However, in recent years, it's thought to measure around 67,000 square kilometers, or 26,000 square miles. The most recent discovery, though, is in regards to a giant hole discovered under the ice. Scientists working in the region have estimated that the hole is the size of Manhattan. This giant anomaly was discovered by NASA's Operation Icebridge. This is a program of theirs that helps them to find and map out glaciers and ice sheets in three dimensions. The scientists have said that this has allowed them to see how fast a glacier melts and what's actually below the bedrock. The next question people started to ask is what's in the cavern? Researchers have said they think it's most likely filled with air much warmer than the surrounding ice, and this is the main reason the ice has been melting much faster. Recent Black Hole Sighting Definitely seen as the most popular astronomical sighting and discovery of the modern day is that of the picture taken and rendered by the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration Project that used a number of different radio telescopes from around the world that helps to show in vast detail the entire movement, existence and behaviour of Einstein's theory on the existence of a singularity known as a black hole. These findings were discovered back on the 10th of April 2019, as a number of scientists came together to compile all of the data received across numerous radio telescopes to create a comprehensive image spanning light years in every direction surrounding the black hole sighting. The image of the black hole not only helps to confirm pre-existing theories surrounding the existence of the singularity, but proves to be among one of the largest compiled pictures of the universe that was pieced together from a collection of rendered images from other radio telescope information. The black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun, as the image stretches a number of light years showing ignited gas being torn apart surrounding the largest celestial body proving to be one of the largest celestial bodies ever rendered via radio telescope. Although there are much larger black holes that have been known to exist elsewhere in the universe, they are only known when researchers use advanced calculations in physics and simulations to predict where and of what size a black hole could be located when looking at information surrounding stars or gas. Essentially, this makes the recent finding the single largest celestial body recorded by humanity in the modern day. The Yonaguni Movement in Japan It was originally believed by ancient Japanese scriptures and legends that there was an undiscovered Yonaguni city located near the shores of the Yonaguni Islands that used to be a potentially massive trade hub in the region. Unfortunately for archaeologists and historical experts, nothing had ever been recovered and artifacts that would be common with the remains of an ancient city were never unearthed in where many speculated this trade hub to have existed. It was due to this that many experts widely regarded these myths and legends as similar to that of a Japanese Atlantis, and believed the city to be fictitious in nature due to its supposed massive size and potential for trade. However, it appears that due to recent discoveries, this could very well not be the case. Back in 1986, divers in the region discovered striking underwater rock formations that appeared to be similar in design to megalithic structures seen in traditional Cyclopean masonry. It appears to have been artificial in creation, due to sharp edges, 90-degree angles and massive megalithic pillars in the region. Unfortunately, despite this proof, as well as the work done by Professor of Seismology Dr. Masaki Kimura, proving that the formations are not naturally made and are definitely man-made, the Japanese government and academics refuse to believe that any structures exist and attribute them to being naturally formed rock formations under the water. It is impossible for divers to visit the region in recent years as the location has been deemed unsafe by the Japanese government and no further research can be established. Given the blatant efforts of covering up the incredible archaeological finding, many believe it to be an effort to conceal the truth regarding the ancient city and the Japanese culture in fears that other governments and cultures might have legitimate land claims to the Japanese island. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.